When I was a kid growing up in the 1980s and 90s, we had a VHS video recorder at home. In fact, it was that very machine there, a Ferguson VideoStar 3V36. So the only videotapes I ever saw really were VHS tapes. And um, I, was, I was aware there was another um, type of videotape out there called Betamax, but uh, I never saw any of the tapes and I never saw any of the machines. So for me, videotape was effectively synonymous with VHS. Now, when you've got a brand new blank VHS tape like this, typically it would come with no labels attached to the cassette itself, and you'd get a sheet of labels, self-adhesive labels, which you'd have to stick on yourself. So you'd get one that would fit on the face of the tape, like that. Oh, I've stick that on in a wonk, but uh, there you get the general idea. And you'd get one that fits on the spine of the cassette, like that. Oh, again, I've put that on the, on the wonk, but uh, you, sit, you get the general idea. You'd usually get a couple of spares as well, so in this case I've just got one spare spine label. Quite often you get a couple of spare face labels as well. There were exceptions, some types of tape came with labels pre-attached, but um, as a general rule that's how a new blank VHS tape would come. Now, almost invariably those labels would be just the right size to neatly fit on the spaces on the cassette. You can see if I'd stuck that one on straight that would have been just the right size to go in that space, and again if I'd stuck that one on more accurately that would be just the right size to go on the spine of the cassette there. Again, there were exceptions to that, um, one such exception being Bush brand tapes sold in the UK, which for some reason came with a variety of labels, none of which neatly fitted in the spaces. I don't know why, but that was very much the exception. Normally the labels would be just the right size to fit in the spaces on the cassette. So, it always used to puzzle me why when you got um, a pre-recorded tape with a film or something on it, very often the label would be quite a bit narrower than the space on the tape. You can see that label's quite a lot narrower than the one on the uh, blank tape. And uh, I used to lay awake at night wondering why they didn't just make the label the right size for the space on the tape. Why use an undersized label? And um, in the early days, this was very common. It would be quite unusual to get a pre-recorded tape with a label that filled the space. And even quite late on, you'd, you'd occasionally get these um, undersized labels. And uh, I just couldn't understand it. It's only fairly recently I think I've realised what the reason was. If you look at a typical Betamax tape, the space for the label, while being much taller, is quite a bit narrower than the space on the VHS tape. So I think they made the labels narrower so they could use the same label on the VHS and the beta release of the same film. So there you go, mystery solved, I think. Thank you for watching.